Here's why people are cashing out of silver fast. Let's start. Business is definitely slower than it was, like, let's say, a year ago. I would say that over-the-counter sales are probably 25 to 35 percent of what they were. The first reason people are cashing out of silver is because many of these people got into stacking silver during the pandemic. Stuck at home, a little bit of income to dispose of, certainly watching YouTube videos like I was, and getting excited about silver. Now, for you and I, well, I'll speak for myself. For me, I've been in stacking silver for decades, so this was nothing new to me. It was very exciting to see all these new YouTube videos about stacking silver. I was really excited to see that. But many rookies jumped in to stacking silver during this time, during the pandemic. And now it's been a few years. Clearly, they're impatient and they're giving up. They're cashing out. So a lot of what we're seeing are just people who don't understand the long haul of silver. And they're cashing out what they bought a few years ago. The other thing we're seeing is that during that same time, around 2021, that time period, that's when we saw a big push all across social media, this story of de-dollarization, the BRICS nations, this this fear-mongering, this frightening beast that was coming about and these BRICS nations were going to come and knock the dollar off its pedestal as the reserve currency and the dollar was going to collapse. That's been pushed. That narrative has been out there since 2021. And now many people who jumped into silver following that narrative, they're feeling also impatient and feeling like, you know what? I don't really think this is going to happen anytime soon. It's it's a long process for these BRICS nations to get to where they want to be. We all know that. So I think that that started in 2021. And I see that people who are cashing out, they are also feeling that. These are people who are feeling like, oh, I got into this. And at the time it was making sense, but now I have all this money in the silver that I'm stacking. So they're just dumping it. And this is painful for not just over stackers. It's painful for dealers, local dealers, even online. Many of these online bullion dealers since the pandemic, they've invested millions and millions of dollars creating this infrastructure that they needed to get silver out there. And the, now everything's been quite flat, right? Like like we've the buying that we are seeing now is some dealers are saying as uh, the difference is it could be thirty percent difference compared to this time last year. The amount of buying it's that's how much it's dropped. I mean it's so low. People are just not buying, and it. It, it, it is so strange because this is the best time to buy. The premiums have dropped. Look at, look at American Silver Eagles. Like, come on. I mean, like th- these were like $14 over spot not that long ago. And to see that, that the premiums, they're now like the same as generic rounds now. I mean, I can't believe that people aren't jumping in and buying. It's really surprising. So these are just a few of the things that we need to take a look, uh, look at and really... I think the big takeaway, as we watch everybody cash out and dump their silver, the big takeaway is that silver is a long haul. 